Much of the Warriors' victory last night can be attributed to the performance of Draymond Green, who was terrific on both ends of the floor. 17 points, 19 rebounds, 7 assists to help close out the series. After the game, he was asked about his contribution. There was a remark made on the broadcast today about, uh, came from C-Webb, he said if you're on other teams and asked to score, you probably wouldn't start. I don't think he meant it as a slight, but do you still feel like your 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 point production is underrated in this league? Uh man, you're trying to start a beef, bro. <laughs> on, I don't, I, you know, I, I don't have a score in my uh, scores mentality, um, especially for you know the team that I play on. Um, I think if I did have a scores mentality, it'll throw all this off and it wouldn't work out. I've been an All Star twice, averaging like 11 points, 10 points, or something like that. Like. I think I've created a new lane for guys in this league to where you don't have to score 20 points to be an all-star or be a star in this league. And my jury fit well. <laughs> so I'm Damn. I'm doing pretty good. So, Damn. you know, much love to see Webb, though, from Damn. Michigan. Uh, state of Michigan, you know. <laughs> we good. <laughs> I love everything about it. Bill Wolf, what's the hot take? It's a hot one, Greeny, and it comes from Chris Webber, really. Draymond's greatness is a product of the Warrior system, Jalen Rose, what say you? This isn't fair to Draymond Green. And by the way, there's nothing I could say in this conversation that isn't going to have people trying to find subliminals. <laughs> but I'm just going to say honestly what I feel. There are 30 teams in the league. There are five people that are starters. You can't tell me there are 150 players in the league better than Draymond Green. Mm -hmm. So that's just not fair to him right off the top, number one. Number two, here's the thing. We have to appreciate role players. Mm -hmm. Everybody can't be a superstar in the game. And for Draymond, people got to pay attention to the fact that he's allowing their death lineup to happen. At six foot seven, he can guard fours, he can guard five, he can grab rebounds. He leads their team in assists. He leads their team in rebounds. Scoring isn't the only important thing that happens in basketball. And he's a lockdown defender. He's always in the conversation for defensive player of the year. So he's a deserved all-star regardless of where he plays. Well, you know what happens is it's not sexy, right? When, when a guy goes in the second round of the basketball, of the NBA draft, it means you don't have these impressive physical traits. It's like when a guy falls in the draft because he doesn't have a good combine in the NFL. Draymond does all the smart basketball things. His IQ, he does all the grunt work. And when you have a team full of specialists and superstars, this is the type of glue that holds that together. It, Draymond Green is a player. Is Dennis Rodman a good comparable to him if you look at what Rodman's role was on great teams? And, and, and Absolutely, no doubt about it. In the conversation for defensive player of the year, leading the team in rebounds, he's a He's a better passer. With more skill. Absolutely. I, I, I'll give you an example. What he does for the Warriors is what Rajon Rondo does for the Pelicans. Rajon Rondo isn't out there for his offense, but he gets them the assists. He gets them the Absolutely. boards. He does all of the intangibles, and he plays defense.